This is a brief video tutorial to complement the Knowing and Sewing Tip of the Month, October 2011. The tutorial is on how to combine patterns in BES lettering and PE Design Next. All information is copyright Cynthia Hogan, Cynthia's Embroidery. Please respect the copyright and ask others to sign up for the newsletter if they would like to receive the information. In BES lettering, when you combine more than one pattern from a different source, it's called merging. My screen shows BES lettering 2, however the process is the exact same in BES 1. Go to the circle B, which is the file pull down menu, and choose Merge. Locate the file folder where your designs are. Browse through your patterns. Select the pattern that you'd like to merge and click Open. To add another pro design to the page, you do the exact same process. Click on the circle B, choose Merge, and add another pattern. In BES Embroidery Lettering 2, there's an option in here that wasn't available in 1. It's called the Browser Window. The Browser Window allows you to view different file folders and the designs located within them without having to browse through all of the designs. So if you click on a file folder, you'll be able to see the files located within it. You can also choose multiple file folders at once to view. Once you find a pattern that you'd like to add, click on it and click Merge. The pattern will be added to the screen. You can then move the designs into the location that you desire. You can then add your lettering or any other design elements that you choose at this point. In PE Design Next, when you want to merge patterns together, it's called Importing. You click on the Import Patterns icon and choose the location to select the designs from. For this exercise, we're going to choose the Design Library. Click on the category that you'd like to choose the designs from. Click on the Design and click Import. When you click Import, the design is imported to the center of the design window. If you'd like to add another pattern to the window, click on it. You can click Import. It will go to the center of the screen again, or you can simply drag it to the location that you'd like. Once you're done importing patterns, you may close the window, add lettering, save the design, do whatever you'd like to do with it. That's all for the lesson.